few days back, I posted a video on Fedora 43. And the comment section there is very interesting. Since I talked about the GNOME 49 version, almost everyone there is trying to prove how KDE Plasma is better than GNOME. Several years back, I left behind Plasma since I never found their interface to be very consistent. I also did not like their default Breeze theme. And this is the perfect time to try Plasma since their version 6.5 released just a few days back. As you can see, I have already booted up KDE Neon and it is running the latest version of Plasma, that is 6.5. I have not yet installed it on my PC because I kind of want to find out through the making of this video if I really like what KDE Plasma has become currently or uh, what are the improvements they have put here in all these years. So this is not a complete feature walkthrough but definitely my opinions on the latest release of KDE Plasma. So the first thing that I'm noticing over here are the rounded corners in the bottom part. So I guess uh, it was there only in the top part. They are now also included in the bottom part, but uh, you can also change it. Oh, look at this. So you can also select the theme that you want for light and dark mode. That's a really cool feature. Now I have actually included this same feature in Evolve. So you can select the light or dark mode uh, theme over there too. On GNOME. If you head over to window decoration, you can actually disable this feature if you don't like it and apply. As you can see, it goes back to the old sharp corners. But there is one problem still, I would say. I don't know what is the reason, but Firefox, due to some reason, does not have rounded corners in the bottom part. So that is a problem. I don't know if it can be enabled from here or not. Yeah. Now it looks more consistent. So this is something that I noticed. Next are the resizable sidebar. And there is also something that I want to talk about here that is again related to consistency. As you can see, I am inside the KD settings page and here we have a sidebar, but I can't really resize it. So it is only present inside Dolphin. So as you can see, I can resize the sidebar over here. It is also present inside some other apps like System Monitor or Menu Editor. Let's open that also. Here we have the menu editor. And as you can see, you get the sidebar available over here, which can be resized. But unfortunately, the one in the system settings can't be resized. Also, a new feature over here is if you change the sidebar and relaunch the application, the sidebar stays like it is uh, remembered across different session of each application. So the same goes for System Monitor. If I change it and relaunch the application, KDE will remember it. Where did it go? System Monitor. Yeah, as you can see, KDE will remember it. But yeah, System Settings does not support it. Next, I noticed a very interesting feature that is the all new day night cycle. Basically, you can set your own sunrise and sunset time based on the device location. The first one is to automatically detect the location. So there are also some transparency text on how your location is fetched. And next is using manual location. Now there is a small problem here. There is no way to find out if your location is properly selected or not. So for example, I live in Kolkata. So if I select Kolkata from here, I don't really know if it's correctly selected because it does not show the area location name. The best bet is to just head over to Firefox or any web browser and just search for your location's latitude and longitude and then just apply it from there. But I think a more straightforward process would be to just use custom times in case uh, the automatic location fetching does not work properly, like in this case. Might be because I'm inside a VM, that might be the issue over here. But yeah, next, there are a lot of small features that KDE has added. For example, in KeyRunner, uh, there is the all new fuzzy search. If I search for apps, it will show up Discover, which is related to apps. Uh, also, I noticed uh, even if you have like typos, it still works. So instead of files, I wrote something else and it shows up. And the same goes for browser. As you can see, Firefox shows up. Now in the settings page, I noticed something related to drawing, drawing tablet. So there is a new support for this one, but unfortunately I do not own any drawing tablets. So I can't really test this feature out. But uh, yeah, there are a lot of small features like these added to KDE Plasma 6.5. For example, the new PIP protocol and uh, new improvement in performance. Uh, I also really love the new wallpaper. But the basic fact remains true that KDE still looks like KDE from a few years back. So 
frankly, which was the reason why I switched initially. And still today, I can't go back to Plasma, even in the 6.5 version. This style of their development definitely works for a huge fan base of KDE. And changing things would definitely be the opposite of what Plasma fans want Plasma to be. So this is a great product, but this is unfortunately not for me. So thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. And let me know what you think about this video and I'll catch you in the next one.